And I want to welcome all to another episode of the Pokemon XY Nuzlocke. Well, last time we left off, we were in Lumio City, talking with Professor and getting our hands on another starter Pokemon. Unfortunately, we also hold Bulbasaur, and I can't really use Bulbasaur on a team that already has a grass starter. Random Lucario. Wait, Lucario! Sorry about that, are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it dashed off. Hey Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn in by this boy's aura or something? Uh, it seems Lucario likes you. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe if maybe she's been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oops, sorry. I that was on such a roll I even forgot to introduce myself. I'm Karina, the Shore Lord City Gym Leader. If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll have she will be battling sooner or later. I look forward to it. I hope you know I'd hope you know how to roll with the punches. This is a little mini skate park. Basically, you can use the various things there to move around. I'm kind of sad that they don't have a lot of this in the game, which is kind of sad to say. There's not really a super lot of things that you can do with the skates. Sort of like the acro bike and mock bike. Sort of like the acro bike and mock bike and uh, and uh, the Sony games for Gen 3. Oh, double battle time. People say we're like peas in a pod. They say we're two halves of a whole. Which is it? Plus my mind in battle time. There's always at least one of these things, isn't there? Man, do I love poison powder. Man, I guess there are the faces of the double battle, so it makes sense why there's at least one double battle with the bustle and mine in every game since Gen 3. So don't quote me on that, I just remember facing a lot of bustle and mine in, in a lot of double battles. I mean, not Gen 5, because obviously, but I guess most games of double battle with the bustle and mine in, in there somewhere. Right now they're both poison. Tinkerbell, hold on for me. Good job, bugging. Poison, do your thing. Can't switch out Tinkerbell because he's a little injured. I don't want to risk her being hurt. Last time I just put a water type out there, but I mostly use a quick attack. Tackle. 
And test we love left, good. Chespi is evolving! Chespi evolved into Quilladin! I know a lot of people hate Quilden, I actually do love it very much. Anyway, you know what time it is, Pokedex time! Quilden, the spiny armor Pokemon. They strengthen their lower bodies by running into one another. They are very kind and won't start fights. I actually really like Quilden. But right now, we're into the Pokemon Center. See you in a minute. Anyway, back to the subject matter. A lot of people don't like Golden. Like, it got a bad rap right off the bat when it was first revealed. Because a lot of people really didn't like Chespin and they saw its evolution and they just started disliking it. But I really do like Golden. Honestly, I do. Why am I with the grass type so much today? Like, Skittle is a good Pokemon, especially when it evolves my Go Goat. I have two grass types! If I catch it, then I'll have two grass types. Well, three grass types. I have Bulbasaur waiting in the wings. Well, game, I need type diversity here. This isn't a mono challenge. Grass-type moves don't work on it. Skidda was caught. Skidda, the mountain Pokemon. It has sun if it has sunshine and water, it doesn't need to eat, because it can generate energy from the leaves on its back. Let's get out. It's kind of corny, but I still love it. Anyway, that's three grass types, and now I have to honestly get some different Pokemon. My goodness, Pokemon horns are certainly intense. Yeah, they're just like just like a dance team at a Pokemon, aren't they? Hey, Trino, do you ever think about anything besides dancing? Nope, even during Pokemon battles, all I'm, all I'm, I'm always checking out their moves. And then my feet just start moving too, I can't help, I can't even help it, you know? Like with Swords Dance, I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. Hey D, do you know, do your Pokemon know any sweet moves? Show me a battle. 
randomly challenge me to a fight. Yeah, that's right. Randomly challenge to a battle with poor fish. Poor fish. Enough of that. Yeah, I just love Quill, man. It looks so cute. Some nice footwork. I mean, Flo Baby doesn't have feet, so. Good one, Dark. Excuse me, I mean, D. It really does seem as though Tran up could only think about dancing and moves. When a horde of battle, when a horde of Pokemon popped out, he just stood there watching them. Well, yeah, Travis. Coming up with the world's best dance team, the Pokemon dance, is my, this is my dream after all. I was born to dance. I won't ever stop. Not with not with moves like this. That's indeed a perfect dream for you, Trano. I guess I should show just just how much just how as much dedication to my dream of completing the Pokedex. Then it's good to be serious about some things. Uh, do you, do take this honey, won't you? You see, honey will encourage Pokemon horse to appear. Though, if you're going to challenge a, horde, a whole horde, you may want to use moves that hit multiple targets. Go open! I'm kind of happy I didn't run into that. Like, it's a good Pokemon, it's an okay Pokemon, but Pokemon is not my favorite poison type. I do like the concept, though. Right, Butterfree is not a poison type. coming. The first roadblock in the early game. Coming. I don't know if I don't know if it's this guy or someone ahead of him, but I know it's on this route. I haven't been able to sleep very well for days. I don't know I don't know if I'm up for battle. Yep, it's this asshole and this goddamn cadaver. Seriously, you might think this is an easy by fight, because it loves thirteen cadaver, but that thing is surprisingly fucking strong. That's us letting out the fucking computers. Thankfully, though, I 
advance to poison it, and it causes an infection. Infest and poison the synchronization. See, I've seen people who have not been prepared be taken out by this thing by itself. So I came ready to take it on. Gotta get some sleep. What's this? Fiona is evolving. It's two emotions on one video. It's gonna be a pain in the constant editing. What's it? Uh, Fiona evolved the Fletchender! And now it's learning Ember because now it's a fire type. Then I gotta blast that roadblock. Okay, it's be out front for a bit. But anyway, time to go to the Pokedex. Fletchender, the Ember Pokemon. The hot sacks of flames in its belly that fl The hotter the, fl the flame sack in its belly, the faster it can fly. But it takes some time to get the fire going. That's two evolutions. Got to blast a major roadblock. And we're still on the way to Camper Town. And got a super potion, which is always neat. Now for the nine to get past the next roadblock, which is that freaking mirror cave. Well, we'll set that when we get to it. First, ah, let's go get us a berry. So basically, the way your berries are done is that berries will grow up on trees. You can't reach them. So you gotta wait for it to fall down, which takes a few hours, and you can pick it up. Of course, plus and mine are on this route, because of course they are. If I don't have enough speed, I get knocked off and fall down here. Oh, Pantamer! I forgot Pantamer on this route. Oh well, no Pantamer for me. I already caught Mosquito. We might be gonna have a fighting type. The rules of Pokemon battles are simple, you see. Rule 1, battle. Rule 2, win. I mean, you're not wrong. Good job, Penny, with the critical hit. Proud of you right now. You followed the rules perfectly. 
You did your part too. I'm working on some synchronized tricks with my Pokemon, but we can't get our timing right. Let me practice against you. I mean, if it comes to ground type, it's not one now, so I can't pour the water and be super effective. to have a Pokemon that's essentially a living motorcycle. I don't know, it just fits for me for some reason. Good job, Nala. <laughs> yeah. As long as I'm with my Pokemon, I get to meet all sorts of people from around the world and train and battle with them. It's like someone decided to play you a goof because I gave you a B doof. Yay, Tinkerbell leveled up too. And now she has Razor Leaf. Goodbye, Lucky Chance. Unfortunately, Otis is outside of your territory, my friend. So close. Ah, the glory of a gift a well placed headbutt. Dude, you have a Bidoof, don't brag about it. Almost there. After a few more battles. You look like a seasoned traveler. I bet you're good at battling too. Now it's been awesome to see the centro. Oh, that pretty mom looks so cute. Up in the crit now let's get you the heck out of dodge. You're just as good as I thought.
I have to battle that guy. Hey, you wanna know why I'm always wearing shorts when I walk through the tall grass? Is it because shorts are comfy and are easy to wear? They're comfy and easy to wear! Ah, references. Thank you for using the Holocaster. Lysander Labs developed the Holocaster to make the lives of Pokemon trainers richer, fuller, and more convenient. We hope you continue to enjoy the fine services this device provides. Anyway, we've arrived at Camp for Town. Still haven't lost any party members yet. There, there's something right around here. This exists to be right around here. And a star piece. So, oh, oh, what the player of this legend is, though. But anyway, we got here. And I think now's a good time to end the episode. So, I'll be seeing all of you guys again next time. Till then, everybody. Thank you.